Welcome to Let's Play Tony Hawk's Underground 2. We had some recording issues, and unfortunately as a result we're going to have to stick with the PlayStation 2 version, so this won't look as nice as it could potentially, like with the previous two LPs. It's, it's authentic though, you get that authentic PS2 blur. And also as a reminder, like with American Wasteland, the soundtrack has been muted and replaced with my and some of my friends' music. The playlist has been expanded a bit more to include a couple more Boston and adjacent bands, though. So it's not all exactly the same as the last LP. I just realized, I don't think we had like a cool Neversoft animation at the beginning of American Wasteland. I might not be remembering it, though. Yeah, I don't recall. Damn, they really have asked that game. <laughs> Couldn't mute this music, so I, I ran it through a phaser and a bit crusher, so it's going to sound kind of funky. It's terrifying, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been ragging on this game. Yeah, compared to the first Underground, which is more of like a, as you put it, a started from the bottom, now we're here type game. Underground 2 instead embraces the then popular jackass world, as it were. Um, another Let's Play of this game by James Plays Games, actually part zero of his LP, was explaining how this is actually very indicative of the skate culture at the time. Particularly, uh, I'm just going to paraphrase him, I'll link to the video in the top right corner on the card. But uh, a lot of this goes back to Steve Rocco, he was a freestyle skater in the 70s, around the same time Rodney Mullen started, and the two of them were a big part in the development of street skating after freestyle went out of popularity. He and Mullen founded World Industries, and a lot of this has roots in that, and especially Steve Rocco's later publication, Big Brother. In fact, Jackass comes directly from a Big Brother skit with Johnny Knoxville. Hmm. So, even though, as we said, this game is aggressively unfunny, it is actually very skate culture-y. It is, even though like skateboarding itself takes a massive backseat, like it, it is basically not like skateboarding is an excuse, not a reason. Yeah, I sub in this game. Plus, I want to just get this out of the way now, like we are going to be talking shit on the story because it's ridiculous and yes, aggressively unfunny. But I do want to like just be clear and say that like Bam Margera and Wee Man specifically, they have like legitimate skateboarding chops. So yeah. I don't want to take that away from them. They're Bam Margera himself was a pro skater. I don't know if Wee Man was, I, but I do know he does skateboard regularly, or at least did. So we've been kidnapped <laughs> yeah. right from Jersey. And now we're going to die. Immediate tonal shift. Hello, butt nuggets. <laughs> oh, bam. Fellas, in case you're wondering why Bam and I invited you here tonight, let us enlighten you. World Destruction Tour. A round the world sick as hell skating competition that Tony and I threw together, and you, Jagoffs, are gonna compete in. Oh, that's okay then. Splitting into two teams. <laughs> I'll be the captain of one team, and the captain of my team will be. Oh, Bill. Damn it, Bam! The tire jacks ran right up my. <laughs> We're going global, baby. Racking up points for some balls to the wall skating. That's All right. And some if you're hoping Phil Margera will like never that. put clothes on in this game, I have good news for you. <laughs> 20 bonus points if you think there's luggage in the trunk. If you cared at all about the story in the first underground, sorry, it has nothing to do with it. Eric is not really a rival. We kind of don't care about his betrayal because the game hates him and we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, wow, we made Eric this super hateable douche in the first game. And in this game, it's just, I guess... Tort I, I don't know. He's just useless. You gotta pick and is a non-factor in every sense of the word. Do I want the noob? Huh? Do, I want do I want the pro who noob? McTwisted over a helicopter? Yeah. The or this? <laughs> this. No that is the best way to describe Polly. Hmm. Come on, Bam, make up your mind. Um, what's there to the side? 
Are you serious? You can't decide between me and a kid in a body cast? Oh wait, that's his underground one voice. Would you look at that? Yeah. I didn't know that was in the game. Yeah, you can choose the voice, and one of them is the same voice actor. This kid's got game. I take part. So I was able to make Titty pretty much as you remember him. These guys suck. You're with me. He looks a bit older. Yeah, I would rather be on Tony's team than Bam's. Yeah. For a number of reasons. Okay. <laughs> Before we get rolling, you should cruise by the training area to brush up on your moves. Some of the other fellows are also there to teach you some sweet new tricks. <laughs> Rodney Turret. Once you're ready to head out, come see me. I will now destroy. If you played the first underground, the controls are much the same. There's a few additions. Wow. <laughs> yeah, barely did anything. Generally, you can skip the training if you want. You can just talk to Tony again. All of this is optional, but I'm going to play through all of it. One, because this is like a semi 100% LP. We're only playing on normal because all that changes with the difficulty is how much harder the game is and which characters you unlock. You don't actually unlock all the characters by going straight to playing sick, which sucks. But also, in the training area, you can complete all of the challenges that increase your stats. If you remember in American Wasteland, you went to skate shops and they would tell you what missions to do to increase your stats. Those are all available right from the start. So just go into options, look at view stats, see what you need to do. And then like right here in training, you can max out all your stats, except for a couple of things. I don't think there's anything you can not a spin on because you need to do that for one of them. Yeah, you basically came in here, sneezed, took a dump on the floor, and now you have nearly max stats. <laughs> I'll try to no comply over the taxi. Wow, the tutorial's fast in this game. Next, do a boneless over the taxi. You go way higher with a boneless. Like, remember how American Wasteland just explained in such graphic back. detail every little thing across the whole game? This one's like, okay, no comply. All right, kickflip. All right, Ollie, cool. I'll go talk to Bob and learn some Get out. As stupid as the game is, it doesn't assume that you're stupid. Yeah. Also, obviously, this level is an expanded version of the warehouse from Pro Skater 1. Yep. Nope. Oh. This was the game that introduced the focus mode, and it's very useful for getting your stats. Particularly the ones where you need to hold a lip trick or a grind. <laughs> I never noticed it, like, slowed down the little notification thing. Yeah. First, do a lift Bob. This quarter pipe. So lift trick, go straight up the quarter pipe and grind at the top. With his look of the year. The ball cap, glasses, and short hair. Now grind the top of this quarter pipe. Go up at an angle and grind at the top. Okay, while you're in the air, pull off a melon grab. Better than lemon grab. Try to land a trick Ugh. with at least a 360 spin. If you ever want to get out of a half pipe or on top of a quarter pipe, just get some air and level out. Behold, the move that broke the PC yeah, version. You're getting the hang of it, <laughs> step it up. Transfer from one quarter pipe to the other. Just hit the first quarter pipe at an angle and ollie at the top to make it to the other one. Yeah, the reason we're not playing the PC version is that it literally can't control a spine transfer if you use a controller. Yeah, looking it up, it seemed to be specific to controllers with analog triggers. But I don't know if, if I don't have a controller without analog triggers that I can plug into my PC. So I don't know if that's the case or if it's just busted. I had a bunch of issues trying to use a controller that didn't. Oh, OK. Like completely independent of the game. Hey, you're surprised to find me, are you? Why don't you say we go do a few sticker slaps? Ignore that we've already talked. One of the stat missions is to do multiple sticker slaps in one combo. Yeah, sticker slap is pretty much the same as a wall plant, but you don't have to press down to do it, and it leaves a little sticker that you can customize. Yep, I customized my sticker and my graffiti tag to both have skulls. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad, can you run that by me again? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, 
Oh no, 3,000 points. How will you ever already did it? Every level has an arcade machine. As soon as you've done the requirement, you can pause and end the current run. You don't need to run out the time. Good old Tid. So an important note about saving. A later level has a massive bug where if you try to save it after doing a certain amount of missions, I'm not sure which, I will explain why when we get there, the game will freeze while saving, and the only option you can do is to turn off the console, thereby corrupting your save and losing all of your progress. So save often and save in separate files. Yes, please. That's why we did American Wasteland first, because that ruined Thorne's original attempt to record. And it ruined my last time to play the game. I wasn't recording, I was just playing on my own. But it still, I was I got pretty far in the game and then it corrupted and I was like, eh, I don't want to do this again. So it wasn't a one-time bug, like it's a known problem with the game, I guess. Yeah. Now I'm trying to do this on purpose. You need to get an actual combo together before you can freak out. Oh, yes. And that is one thing you need to do to get a stat point. God, Titty's made of concrete. Now that I broke my head against my board, I can run faster. Oof. Now that's a superhero origin story if I ever heard one. The superhero called the caveman. <laughs> Titty's looking kind of cavemanly, honestly. Like with that shaggy hair and furrowed brow. Kinda. He does have a big forehead this time. Hey, he looks generally older. I'd say this game takes place 10 years after the first Underground. That's why nobody cares about Eric anymore. Yeah, or us. But we're still a noob, remember? Right, because Bam said so. Bam ruined our career. God, with how big Titty is, though, bailing must be extraordinarily painful. That's a lot of weight crashing down. I kept forgetting to revert earlier. Oh. Yeah, the improvements from Underground 1 to this are minimal, especially compared to Tony Hawk 4 to Underground 1, but it's still refined a little bit, so it does feel that little bit better, and it has those few inclusions that really feel good to do as well. Important note about the stats. Some of them require you to do general tricks, like a certain amount of flips, uh, flips or grabs. Other ones, like the one I did just there, required me to specifically pogo while manualing two times. Oh. Pogo, I believe, is triangle, triangle? I believe so, yeah. And this one, I don't think I'm gonna make it. You need to spine transfer four times for another stat point. Yeah, you can do them all in here to make your stats super high to make a lot of missions easier, but also there are later places that you can do some of these easier. Like I know in the later Barcelona stage that I believe is the second one, yeah. there's this park that has like six spine transfers that you can <laughs> yeah. do. Remember, um, when you're doing a combo, and you're going up and down the quarter pipe. The further on you do the combo, the less speed you get. But if you caveman and then start running, get back on your board, as you go up the quarter pipe, you get some of your speed back. I would say it trivializes some things, but I think the game is built around it and it just makes it more fun, so I don't really care. I'm trying to get a 900 spin here. Just made it. Tony's looking over the fence like, Motherfucker! <laughs> he wasn't even trying. I was trying several times, excuse you. <laughs> well, you did it over the course of like a minute. Man, Took him on. like 10 years. Check this out. This section of wall is cracked and ready to be broken. All you need to do is sticker slap it. Grind the top of this quarter pipe towards the wall. When you're close to the wall, jump and sticker slap it. What? what the? F <laughs> Eric just slapped into me while I was talking to Mike. <laughs> He's listening to Mike. Let's get him. Cool. 
since you're over there, open now this the whole area is an addition. Right, right this was not in the original right level. Yeah. It's also not in the Pro Skater 1 and 2 remake. Yeah, it's still its own level, but the first area is just directly based off of Warehouse. Where the fuck are you? There he is. Now it's time to master the wall. When you're in a wall ride, wally to get more height. Try it here. Approach the wall at an angle, ollie, and wall ride. Then at the top of the wall ride, Hello. Wally. I am Calm Tutorial Bam. <laughs> Please note, this is a trial version, and I will be starting to go buck wild once we get to Boston. Hit him with these tomatoes. Pick them up, just go near the tomato cart. This is a little fun. This ability to throw shit at people. I think there's two stats you can get. They all need to be in a combo, but throwing shit four times in one combo is another stat point. Another good use of focus. Oh god, you tomatoed Phil out of existence. <laughs> it says four pedestrians. They don't actually need to be different people. It can actually be just hitting one person four times. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure you've used focus more in this video so far than I have in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. I just don't. I, mean, I see the use in it, but I just don't think to actually take advantage of it when I'm playing Tony Hawk. It's situationally useful. Like here. Ugh. For the grind stats, what I like to do is grind just at normal speed until you get to the grind for 10 seconds stat. Around this point. You can only stay in focus if your special meter is full and you have a limit of about 10 to 15 seconds. You can't go much longer. But this should be more than enough for me to get the grind for 20 seconds stat. No, don't grind again. There we go. Man, maybe I should use that a bit more. Right, there's another one for a 15,000 point air. That means that all of the tricks that you do need to be in the air at the same time before you hit the ground again. Right. Like you can't do a McTwist, revert on the ground, do another McTwist when you go back up. You need to do two tricks in the air at once. Yeah, if you just do a special move like the McTwist or even like the 900 and a kickflip will probably get you more than enough. Yeah. No, that's a front side roll. I need to do a backside roll. There we go. The game keeps track of the difference. Rolls and flips are a... I love how those were added in this game. I really wish you could do them in the remake. They're so fun. Cool. Now let's learn to climb walls and ledges. Now jump up onto the crate, big shot. Why are you such a dick, Mike? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he requested this character of his. This is so weird. I did these out of order, despite me jumping on the first box as it told me to. Blah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, you did the tall one, but can you jump on the short one? Uh, not quite. You, you tried. The thing about the double jump, you kind of need to have something to double jump off of. So for me, it works to sort of angle myself so I go along the wall and then double jump off of that. Also, R1 is a good way to grab onto ladders. So remember that. It's going to be required for a later level. Shimmy over to this opening, tough guy. 
Oh, yeah, I'm a tough guy, thank you. And we toughy. <laughs> toughy titty. Time for an acid drop, Mike V style. Skate to the edge, Ollie, and bombs away. How did we live without the acid drop? Now it's time for your first combo. First go up and Oh yeah, and your your first top. combo. <laughs> Jump off and grind that rail. And finally at the end of the rail. Ignore the wall ride to Wally to grind that I did earlier. Time for your first combo with me paying attention to it. And then side jump left onto this rail. Even that's dubious. <laughs> then side jump right to grind on top of this quarter pipe. That, nope, that didn't work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Good job. <laughs> Not enough speed. Chad Muska seems like a, a fun dude. So many skateboarders are so like laid back. Chad Muskus always seems to be at like an eight or a nine. <laughs> he seems like a guy who in modern internet parlance fits his name. Yeah. Get the hell away! All right, you little jerk. Do a spine transfer over the fun box and into the pool. Hang on, fuck that wall. Okay. Good job. Now do a spine transfer over the no fun box. <laughs> That's what we call Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one joke I was allowed for this tutorial. <laughs> All right, let's tag this place up. Hey, walk up to the blank posters and tag them. Make them look fresh. There are five tag spots just like these. Find them and tag them. Fight him and tag him. Eat him when you're tired. That was very Sonic. Fight him and tag him. BSOL. Bullshit on lima beans. Buried secrets doesn't hold lies for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, yeah, okay. There's another one for graffiti tagging uh, two times and one for four times. Gotta be speedy about it, though. Just stand still and hammer the button. This is how you advertise your album. Ignore that it's two, three, yeah, two years old now. That's, that mean you can't still listen to it and buy it. No, for fuck's sake. This is technically a ladder. I'm trying to grab onto it. There we go. Yeah, you can barely tell. Hey, we need to get your ass back up there and tag that poster. Just hang from the ledge again. And Why do we need to get my ass back up there? Yes, we had a deal with your record company, and we gotta advertise. I am the record company. I know. Skaters rule. Is there really such a rivalry between bladers and skateboarders? In like stereotypical douchey right, now, skater culture, yeah. Out. In re in reality, not really. Up a quarter pipe right next to a wall, it will give you an extra boost. Well, we know which one of those this game is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is another thing that we saw briefly in American Wasteland, and similarly, we're only going to see it briefly here because it does not come up in the game anyway. No, it's it's not very useful either. Because I mean, if you're going up a vert ramp. You're going to be wanting to do bigger moves than touching the wall. All right, dirtbag, let's do a real combo. <laughs> All right, shit. <laughs> Go up this quarter pipe and do a grab move. On your way down, do a revert when you hit the quarter pipe. After that, go into a manual. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Right on. Did you notice how that special meter was filling up as you did that combo? They're running out of air. Now, the more tricks you do, the faster the meter fills up. Once the meter's full, you can perform special tricks which give you I a tried lot giving myself an extra lung. It didn't work. Special meter, then do a McTwist. 
But Phil never got his back, so that's funny. Hell yeah, do a backflip while you're in the air. All right, not bad, not bad. Now do a roll. Not quite. Good, good job. There we go. I wasn't watching. Oh yeah. Oh no. Bam <laughs> <laughs> oh. was looking. It's okay. He'll land in the water. Oh. One of the worst missions in classic mode is getting up onto those rails and destroying all of the sprinklers in the level. There's like 50 of them. Oh my god. 50? 50 odd, something around there. Too many, to the point being. <laughs> That's bedonkers. What are you doing? You ready to get out, huh? <laughs> I want to try one thing before we leave. Get special, then enter a combo. After you start the combo, you can get focus control. Yeah, this is the only mission you actually need to do, because focus was introduced in this game. True girl move. Remember to keep doing tricks when you're in focus, otherwise you'll run out of special. Alright, let's do it. Hello. I'm Ben Franklin. You'll find out why I'm here in the next part. <laughs> yep, next time, first proper level, Boston. So finally, it's appropriate that I have a bunch of Boston musicians in this playlist. At last, you better exclusively play the Boston ones. Oh, I did. Oh, good. I even asked them for more music to play on this level. Perfect. Maybe we could find the, the their show Easter egg. I tried so hard to make that sentence work. I don't even know what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, like, maybe we could find these artists in concert in an Easter egg. Never mind. 